right, folks. Um, I thought I'd take and make time to do a little video. I'm making some soap for a friend of mine who is attending a wedding, and I thought maybe they'd like to see what it looks like and how it gets made. So today we're going to make uh, an olive oil-based soap. And it will have juniper berry oil and lavender oil um, macerated in the oil. And then I will also add in essential oils. And down here on my counter, let me take the time to get you to see it. There you go. So down here on my counter, I have an array of things. This is my lye. Um, I have sea salt and sugar in my purified water. I'm going to be adding silk to the mix. And then here I have cocobenadine, which is an additional foaming action. Sodium lactate, which actually makes the soap really nice and silky. And then I have some green clay here just to give it a little additional color. Here I have goat's milk, uh, sorry, coconut milk. Um, and then essential oil. Okay, hopefully you can see here. Um, we got a lot of things laid out. Best I can. Okay, so I'm going to add in my essential oil. And. What I'm going to do is go ahead and add all the essential oil into the master batch. Uh, we're going to stir that right in. I don't know that you can see it, but it's starting to thicken up, so i got to kind of move a little quicker. We are officially turning into soap here. Oh, it smells fabulous, and I do mean fabulous. Woo! I'm talking nice. I love the smell of the lavender and the juniper berry together. It just smells awesome. Woo! This is starting to thicken up. Okay, so we are going to put in our green color here. We're just going to flop it in. Won't make a difference, just going to give a little bit of a little bit of color variation in there. It looks pretty. Okay, now the fun part. Now we are going to put this into our molds. And I'm going to give it a little stir. Let me get the green mixed up. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yep, that looks real pretty. And then we're going to pour. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Comb this out. Add in some more. Okay. Oh. Easier for it to go that way. You can see what I'm doing since I keep getting my spoon in the way. And I'm doing this so we get the bubbles out of it. We don't want no bubbles in the bottom of our soap. There we go. Ooh, that smells fabulous. And we're just going to level this out a little bit. Again, 
And we're going to get the bubbles out, although it gets hard pretty quickly. Once it hits that air. So that's looking pretty darn good. Now over here I have a little, um, it's basically a cake frosting bag. And I'm going to take the rest of this and we're going to frost in the top and we're going to make it real pretty. Since this is for a wedding, I kind of like it to look really nice. Believe it or not, works pretty good is frosting. Oops, I have to... Oops, there we go. That's already coming out. Ooh, hot. I have to get a powder. So that's looking pretty darn good. Now over here I have a little, um, it's basically a cake frosting bag. And I'm going to take the rest of this and we're going to frost in the top and we're going to make it real pretty. Since this is for a wedding, I kind of like it to look really nice. works pretty good is frosting. Oops, I have to... Oops, there we go. That's already coming out. Whew, hot. I have to get a towel to hold that. A little rhythm going here. Probably should have thought about the design beforehand, but I thought I would just my goal was just to get like a little design on the top. Okay. Yeah, I'm not so happy with that one. Let's move on to this one. Now that we got a little pace going, maybe we can get some. There. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go like this. Oh, yeah. There we go. We just had to get some rhythm. like a little clog. Could be silk. There we go. Okay, let's go one more round trip around it. It's going to have like little cobblestones on top. 
It's still pretty darn hot. Get so just a little bit more in here. It's starting to harden up on me. Oh yeah. Definitely starting to harden up. It's okay. We'll get it on there. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that one's done. Get this out of the way. I definitely like that one. I think since we're already working on this one, we'll just keep going. My goal was to make like a little design on top and then put the flowers. Could be oatmeal. Never thought about that. Okay. That is an interesting design and I think we have officially got to the point where I cannot push any more out of here. So, we're going to call that done. And we're going to flatten it out. We're going to leave this one the way it is. I kind of like that look. Okay. We're going to sprinkle this with alcohol. And we're going to throw our little flowers on here. Oh, yeah, that looks really pretty. Now... Because this is really a rustic kind of soap, what I try to do is I just try to randomly get it all over it. There we go. There we go. Then we're going to go here. And I really like the idea. That, let me get a little more down here. Okay. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of this is bio glitter. So it won't hurt nothing. And then I'm going to add that much, just enough to give it just a pretty dusting. See, look at that. Hey folks, um, we're back today and we're going to cut this soap. Um, so I'm going to move this out of my way real quick. And I may have to speed through this video later, but I won't worry about that right now. So we're going to peel this off of here very carefully. Let me back that out of the way so you can see. And, okay. Okay, so we are back. So I may have to edit this a little bit, but I am going to gently peel away this mold. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the trick here is we do not quiet down in there. Quiet. Okay, we do not want to crumple our beautiful front. We're going to gently just press on this. See how this is kind of popping away? Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. We should be ready to pop out any second. Oh, let's not crush it. Okay, this one wants to fight with me a little bit. Oh, there we are. Okay, we're going to set that down. Okay, 
we're going to pause for a little bit because this is still pretty damp. And I want it time to just hit the air. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's still pretty soft. But believe it or not, as soon as it starts hitting the air, it hardens up pretty well. I'm just going to clean up these little edges. There we go. This might have been able to stay in the mold another day or so. There we go. We're going to probably have to give it time to dry up just a little bit before we do a slice. I think it's a little too damp yet. Oh, but it looks so cute. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. It definitely needs a few minutes to harden up. There we go. We're going to have to come back to this. I'm going to release the other one too and then we'll have two to do. So I'll bring you back. Okay, folks. Now it's the moment of truth. Let me put this out of the way. I'm going to move this little guy. And because I don't want these to get uh, the flowers all crumpled, I'm going to turn it on my side. I don't know if you can see it from there. Um, I did a little design on the side. I thought the rosebuds were pretty. So we're going to put those on there. So now we're going to cut through this. That is perfect. And these are going to be little guest soaps. Get these ends off of there. Okay. Now the moment of truth to see what it looks like. I'll pull out one from the center here. And... That's what the inside looks like. So it's got to dry out a little bit now that I've cut it. I'll leave it sit for a little bit. It's actually really pretty. There we go. Wonderful. Very pretty. Oh, it smells fabulous too. So as they dry, they will um, get a little lighter as they go. There we are. Okay, we'll take a look at a couple more. And then I'll be able to let these harden, trim them up, and get them ready to get out the door to Kristen and Harv. Thanks so much.